Welcome. This is the video where I am going to upgrade and update my previous version, a month old, from 18.9.5. So September. And we're going to move. We want to be rolling. We don't want a clean install. And that's this. This video is for you. Okay. So what do you do? Just what do you do to upgrade? You don't want to know anything new. Just really technical update the system. Well, the first thing you do is you update the system in the sense that we have an alias that's called update. Console all T alias. These are all, all, all our aliases. Okay. Another one that's very interesting is mirror to get the fastest computer or well, the servers for Arch Linux. As you can see, mirror list, etc, pacman D. So it's the Arch Linux servers. And we're going to wait for this update to come along and pause the video. Maybe a quick glance at this here. We have been busy, right? There are lots of Arch Linux packages that have been updated and I will check it out later. So that's done. When you update, when you press the, the text, the text, uh, when you use, again, when you use the command update, what do you get? You get only the packages in from Arco Linux and Arch Linux. That's what you get. That's why I keep them separate. When I press now, PKSYUA, which is also somewhere up here, it says yay and update everything. So this line says just update everything. I don't care where it's coming from. It's come from Arch, Arco, and AOR. Everything is going to be installed. But when I do the first one and the last one, then we see, Control C, these things are coming from AOR. And I want to make a distinction between it because AOR is not Arch Linux. It's not Arco Linux. It's, it's a user-based package build community, and we get the stuff from everywhere red hat from debian files anywhere on the net and it's going to be packaged so that we can use it so that's great but um it's not ours so things can go wrong in this end because of updates and wrong typos and, 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 and lots of stuff so these elements should be updated as well so let's keep him working and we have now yay at this point in time, I think Yahoot is still in there. Not think, I know Yahoot is still in there. But at some point, we're going to really delete it, guys. So uh, go over to Trizen as a war helper or go over to Yay as a um, helper and that will solve your future issues. So let's wait for um, OB generator to, to finish here. I see that uh, the wallpaper has been changed by a variety. So that little thing down here, by the way, it has been updated. There is a new version. I know it's, if you can see it already, about so 6.9. And let's see if it kicks in. Quit. Variety. And then about, so 7.0. So we've taken a look again at the variety config and we've uh, helped also the guys on github variety to fix it for awesome and for bsbwm because we have our own fix and it would be better that the fix is already coming from them so we're helping them we're also financially helping them that's then me personally donating so variety is a lovely thing we'll support it continuously so we have our all kind of Fun stuff wallpaper selector so this these things are not mine they come from uh, what is it saying here I've got this yeah right so this is all coming from desktopper so from uh, variety think different thing green think all right now think out of Linux right so lots of fun stuff and sometimes stupid stuff but that's why the old T is there so there are lots of shortcuts and old T trashes your wallpaper so alt n is the next one i like to trash it alt t alt p the previous one and we're back to this one 
It's a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts. Check them out. If you did not know, it's all in here. I've, and here you have all kinds of shortcuts that we've added. Let's wait for this to end since um, it's going to be a big chunk of compiling, I see. All right. So finally, everything is done. Yay bin is the last one. So we do the binary and it's easier to install than uh, the yay. You need a lot of, uh, well, 450 megabytes room for Go to compile it. So the binary is better. So um, updating, we've done an update. We've done a PKSYUA. The last thing you should do is of course, and then we are completely uh, in order and up to date. These two need to be checked, but first off, what you need to do always is make already the folder here, etc scalp, put this little guy here, always here, it's not in the trash of course, always here, because this is where your specific files are going to be, um, well, the, the configuration files are going to be kept on Arco Linux, right? So it means that either you say, okay, I'm gonna compare the differences between these, or that you know, hey, I have um, been working in my, my bash or C of my X resources, and you put it on the desktop for a while or something to keep it uh, safe. Things that you have changed in your .config as well, things that you've changed because it will be overwritten. If you have made a different file with a different name, of course it will not be overwritten but if it existed already if it exists here we're going to do a control a control c control v meaning that we are going to copy paste over everything so this dot config is going to be copy pasted etc etc so that's what you need to do replace all and so just pointing out the consequences you're overwriting everything now while that's been done two seconds three seconds so those are the la latest, latest, oh la la, latest configuration files for Arch Linux fine one thing you should do as well is then check out the bash that's one of the most important files these two need to be compared and can be done quite quickly if you know if you know that you can compare so compare and then maximize and you see we've made lots of new things so since last update we've added scale which is actually quite interesting stuff it does this copy paste for you copy recursively forcefully etc scale everything to your home so that's great so we don't need to copy paste anymore but it's a powerful thing yeah everything's going to be overwritten right casey is uh we i call her her yes it's a name it's a name of a girl kc so kc kills all the conkeys kc when does this happen when you're an i3 and bspwm in awesome we give you we provide you with a conkey and we have to type always kill all conkey so kc and then we discovered hardware info and the short version is an interesting version so we've made a short alias hw and then last uh, day we had this tutorials about Whitevine and Whitevine was not installing properly but the only thing we had as a problem was an HTML file that was wrong. So nothing to do with the application but with the checksum. So if you want to skip the checksum and you know that it's safe and it's all good then you can skip it with yay or you can skip it with Trizen. So that's also implemented. So click here. And then we have the same things, the same thing. This is actually coming from the ISO build, so that's okay. doesn't need to be here, so that's okay. Now, I'm going to copy paste this. Don't need to do this, but I'll show you why. Control C. And now we're going to save, of course, the bash RC. So the bash RC latest comes from us. And this is yours from November, uh, from September, right? So save, now we have the same bash RC. But next time you're going to type this scale command, you see, it's going to copy paste again the old bash RC from September. 
So these elements will not be in there. The elements we just discussed are not in there. So what I'm going to do is edit this file, etcscale.bashrc, control A, delete, control V. So I have the same file again here. And this, I'm deleting the September version. I'm adding the October version. Okay, got it? So that's important because otherwise, if we want to do the scale command, it will be gone again when we copy paste over. So logging off is maybe easiest to explain on the video. There is another way to do it, but hey. So we have a nice view here and everything should work, right? So HW is a new one, but in the on the new ISO, of course, we've installed this application. So sudo pacman minus s hw info and try it again. Okay. And it's quite interesting. It shows you a lot of information in a very concise way. This is what is in my machine. Okay. So hardware information. The other one we had was uh, the skip thing. Let's try the scale thing first. So what happens when you type scale is it takes a second or two. Watch it. Voila, that's it. But it has been copy pasted. Everything that's inside. What's this here? The Valdi desktop stable. Strange look. Yeah, maybe we should restart our plank. It might be also, also possible. Come on, Eric. Quit. Blank. Well, let's wait for him to come. So the scale command is actually alias. Let's see if everything works. Scale is there. Scale is going to do a copy paste over. And which one is also necessary? Well, we can do. Okay. Finally, blank is there. Every volley is there as well. So there's one thing I would like to do with you as well. So mind you, the topic is to be rolling. Keep on rolling, right? When you update today, and that's the last thing I'll do, then you're really up to date with everything. And we can change our number 18.9.5 to 8.10.4. That's the last thing I always do. So what you see today here are three lines. The three lines are okay, that's good, but not if you want to build an ISO, not if you want to have all these lovely wallpapers from Submicron, right? Was it first wallpapers? So this is the only thing we have. So something changed and that's because we want to have um, well fallback servers. So at this point in time, it's only GitHub that is serving us files, but it's sometimes there are timeouts and you have to build it again and hoping that that time uh, there will be no timeouts and so on. So we've added a extra server and we will add it, add more servers to it. I, at least two are coming more. So three, well, four servers in total will be enough. The thing is we need to do something and it's also explained on the website. So maybe you should, uh, pointed to you that we have a article of course if we go to articlinux.com and it says here oh sorry it's the wrong one articlinux.com there you see get the submicron wallpapers back how to all right how to and then we have here this is what needs to be in our system all right so let's do that or we can copy paste from here like so or we just type it and well then it's in another tutorial which is also good we go to the file system we go to etc we go to pacman d and then you see that there is here a mirror list and a mirror list pack new so this comes from arch in here you'll find all arch linux servers no article linux servers yeah and this is an even older one worldwide, Australia, and so on. So nothing to do with Arco Linux. What we're gonna do 
is install our own mirror list sudo pacman minus s article linux mirror list and this this package will only be there if you did an update all right okay we're installing this one and what happens we get a file and in this file are just at this point in time two lines but there is already two more in the make meaning if the first one fails he'll go to the second server third server fourth server and so on so that sounds good right what do we have to do well pacman is governed by a file called pacman.conf in here what we need to oops that was pamac pacman.conf right pacman.com bit bigger scrolling not too big so what we need to do is we need to replace these things here that are pointing to github to something else rather than a https a file and here it is here we have these files includes etc pacman.d mirror list you copy paste it over less to type and let's start with the testing server maybe you'll never use it but make it correct anyway so arco linux mirror list correct we were in etc pacman p arco linux mirror list that's the name we should point to so we say to pacman hey guy if you want to have a look this is the place to be there you'll find my servers not this line anymore but this file and in this file i'll point you to all the servers so this is for us a super easy way to update so when everything when this is done well it will just add uh, servers to the file and that's it and nothing needs to be changed from your end so this is okay what we need to do well if you want to have it if you want to have wallpapers then you need to add this as well so copy paste from here up here and the only thing you have to add is say hey go and have a look at the repo of submicron we've named it as such save it and that's it so we have now an article linux that works with pacman that points to a file that contains servers now two in the future four five six and we have an extra repo where all the one gigabyte wallpapers are from submicro which makes it better to mirror and so on and to maintain so what does this mean this means if you do an update you'll see more lines you see here submicro and at this point in time you say uh -huh, that means i can get my wallpapers back does it article linux wallpapers there they are so they were hidden and now they're not i point you in the direction of two metas so it's going to download a lot of wallpapers in one go so Submicron, and then in this case a dash and a two, and then this is a meta, and a meta says get this, that, and then that, and that six packages will be downloaded and installed. So that's also useful to know. I'm not going to do this in a virtual box, but last thing is see that you're the proper number. So when we press Control T, is 18.9.5, and we go to file system etc lsb enter and we say i'm all of the specs this is now for me rolling and i am 18.10.4 closing everything up and now you can say hey i'm rolling i have everything i need to have there's lots of things more maybe to say about the new version but that's for another video otherwise it would be super long all right Cheers.